do we know when we've passed the talking stage with a girl? What is the YouTube money like? Do you actually use the products you use in ads? Most famous person that slid into your DMs. <laughs> It's me, Lee May, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing one of the most boring videos on YouTube. I'm so excited. I can't believe I'm doing this today. I'm going to be doing an everyday makeup routine. Apparently, you want to see it. Don't really know why. Here we are. I'm going to give it to you. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe down below if you're not already. Apparently, 44% of you guys who watch my videos aren't even subscribed. What are you doing? Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. This is the only moisturizer I ever use. I use this before my makeup every single day. If I ever try and tell you that I use a different moisturizer to this. I'm definitely straight up lying. I don't think I'd lie to you though. Rub all of that into the skin. Also, can we just talk about my natural tan for a second? If you try and tell me you can't tell I'm tan, then you're lying. I'm literally a golden goddess. Bitch weird. When I was brushing out my hair earlier, I scratched my forehead with my brush. That just adds to the... Ugliness. Okay, Another thing I just need to get off my chest. Why is it that I look good indoors whether that's no makeup or with makeup? As soon as I step into the outside world, the air and the oxygen just flowing through me. I just look ugly. I promise you, there is something in the air that just says, nope, we're not letting you look good. I'm gonna put a Vaseline on now because... We don't want crusty lips. The first question is, what is the first thing you recognize when meeting a new person? I'm just trying to think back to when I met people for the first time. I think I kind of look at someone's eyes or their hair first, and then I kind of check out their style and how they dress themselves and present themselves. Pretty eyes are just the biggest flex ever. With the hair thing, I don't really know why I'd look at that first. I tried out soap brows the other day. It's supposed to give you like the laminated eyebrow look. The other day when I done it, I don't think I've ever looked worse than that. Kind of heartbreaking, kind of sad, but I think I'll get through it. I literally have ghosts. Not gonna lie, I don't know how I feel about the brows today. They just don't really seem to be vibing with me. The girls prefer someone being mean or actually nice to you. This one's kind of funny. None of that like morning princess. Treat a girl nicely, but like not cringe, you know? I think a lot of girls get mixed up with nice and cringe though. I feel like girls just like it when you can have a joke and sort of bully each other in a nice way. That just sounded so dumb. Sometimes if a person is really cringy, it low-key does make me want to throw up. How do we know when we've passed the talking stage with a girl? I've only been in one relationship. I had like one or two boyfriends in primary school, but in primary school everyone's your boyfriend, you know what I mean? You've probably passed the talking stage if you're actually getting a bit serious about it. You're going on more dates, you're meeting up more, you're both making an effort. I feel like you'll just know. We'll probably end up talking about getting into a relationship more. Most of the time I usually use my finger to blend in concealer. I don't actually do concealer every day either. I was feeling it today. This concealer's actually so freaking bright. This question came up so much. What is the YouTube money like? Everyone wants to know. You're all so nosy. I'm very grateful for what I am from YouTube because it literally is just a hobby. So many of my friends are always asking me, would you ever do YouTube as a full-time job? Personally, right now, I cannot see that at all because I don't make enough to be able to live off of it. As of right now, because I'm only 17, I don't have like loads of bills and stuff to take care of. It's good enough money for now. I can like get clothes and you know, if I'm out and I want to treat myself to a little takeaway, I can do that. That's all I I can kind of do with it right now unless I save up for a really long time. I'm gonna use a loose powder to set that. Not too much though because I kind of like the glowy makeup look. Not gonna lie, I did use a little bit too much concealer today. I'm gonna let that set for a second. I'm gonna quickly go make my mum some pancakes and orange juice. World's best daughter goes to me. A few moments later. Let's resume. I'm gonna wipe that off. How often do you think about boys per day? So much. The only boys I think about are the ones in my family. Young Leonardo DiCaprio and young Brad Pitt. <laughs> I hope that clears that up for you. Did you tell your parents when you first started YouTube? Funny story to this, do not try this at home kids. Always get your parents permission and consent if you're underage. One of my friends had a YouTube channel. I really wanted to start one for myself. I asked my mum if I could and she said no. She was worried because I'm a young child putting myself on the internet, anyone can see it. I was like, oh, that's so annoying, but okay, I won't start one. The next day I started one. <laughs> My mum didn't properly find out that I did YouTube until like 2018. She always knew I made like videos and stuff, but she didn't know I was actually doing YouTube. She's learning something new every day, people. Do you actually use the products you use in ads? If I didn't like a certain product, I wouldn't promote it to you guys no matter how much I was getting paid. It's just unauthentic, it's fake. And I haven't actually done many sponsorships. I think I've done like three. One of them was a clothing brand and I wear the clothes that I got sent all the time. Another one I did was an editing software and I love editing. I go to a film school. I definitely use that as well because I love editing. The last one I did was for shampoo and conditioner and I literally use their shampoo and conditioner like every single time I wash my hair. It's literally my 
favorite thing ever. Do you have body confidence issues and do you worry about what you wear? I'm pretty sure every single person on this planet has an insecurity or insecurities about their appearance, their body, whatever. It's totally natural, so yes, I have. I'm a very small and petite person. Sometimes I wish I had a bigger booty. Honestly, I'm too lazy to work out and work for myself to get there. I try not to allow myself to sit and moan about it because if I'm not gonna change it, then what's the point? I'm literally just wasting time by thinking about it and being upset about it. Although I am always going to have insecurities, I have just learned to love them. I've been through things and situations that sort of made me realize that I am who I am and that's not gonna change. I'm content and I'm happy with myself. I'm proud of myself. To answer the question, I just went off on a total rant. Yes, I do have body confidence issues sometimes. Do girls really like boys at sleepy voice? That question made me cringe. I don't even know why. It depends on the girl, but I feel like sometimes it's kind of like, oh kind of cute. Do you have a boyfriend yet? I love the little yet. It sounds like you've been waiting for me to get one for a really long time. No, like I was saying before, I'm happy with myself at the moment. If I end up meeting someone that I'm really compatible with and I just fall in love with them, maybe I'll get a boyfriend. But as for now, no. Someone said, do looks matter in friendship groups? That is such a silly question. No. See that you're even questioning that shows me that you probably haven't surrounded yourself with the best people. If anyone tries to tell you that looks matter in a friendship group, that is the dumbest sh** I've ever heard. You're not gonna get along with someone just because of the way they look. How do you tell your mum you need tampons? Literally, you just ask. It's a basic need and a necessity for a young girl. Not just a young girl, any girl. Your mum will understand because she's a girl. She went through it too. She knows that you need these things. Don't make it awkward. Just be like, hey mum, um, it's that time of the month. I'm gonna do some fake freckles because we know how we roll around here. Literally, just use a brown eyeshadow and this really, really thin brush. Will you ever move out of London or do you think you'll stay here forever? I've been thinking about this so, so much recently. Recently. When I move out, I want to be able to buy a house. If I can save up enough to buy a house, that will definitely be the better option. Renting is great and everything, but I feel like I just think I'd be so much more comfortable if I can actually own my house because it's mine then. I can't imagine owning a house in London because that would be so, so expensive. I feel like I'll end up moving just onto the outskirts of London. Maybe somewhere like Hertfordshire. Never say never. I might still live in London. I'm not sure. How do you deal with trust issues? To be honest, I feel like I trust people with way too easily because I I know I'm a nice and pure person. I just assume that everyone else is gonna be, but they're not like that. I do need to stop telling people so much. I think people just think I have trust issues because of what's happened in the past, like in my past relationship. If you're having trust issues, kind of looking for some advice on how to like chill a bit and just trust people. It's not gonna be easy at all. You just need to try your best and relax yourself and kind of try and open up a bit. I don't know. It is hard to trust people, of course, especially in like the day and age that we live in. Not all people are bad people. There are some amazing, lovely, people out there. You just need to break down your walls a little bit and let them in. If they end up breaking your trust again, then just know that everything happens for a reason. Everyone that comes into your life, they're either a blessing or they're gonna teach you a lesson. You find it awkward when you're around other YouTubers that you don't really get along with. I think around certain people, I am very, very awkward, but I've never been in any sort of YouTube beef. There's obviously creators that I prefer to others, all stuff like that, but I've never had a direct problem with anyone and I don't think anyone's had a direct problem with me either. However, I do get kind of awkward around other YouTubers or like TikTokers. If I'm at certain events and they're kind of just ignoring me, I'm just like, oh, okay. I definitely sort of throw myself in when I meet new people and like try start conversation, try get along with them. Certain people aren't the same as me, so they don't really want to get to know me. That's just life, obviously. Most famous person that slid into your DMs. It hasn't been anyone with like a blue tick. It was a TikToker. I think it was like four mil on TikTok. I remember he DM me one time just saying like, hi, nothing juicy. I guess that's it. Why won't girls just be honest with their feelings? Personally, I'm very honest with my feelings, I think. If I like you, you're probably gonna know. I'm gonna wanna always talk to you. I'm gonna always wanna make an effort with you. I'll just tell you how I feel. If you've done something that I don't really like, then I'm gonna let you know. I think some girls hide their feelings because they don't wanna get hurt. They're afraid of getting hurt. It might not have anything to do with the person they're hiding from. What is it like knowing it's not safe for girls, especially to go out late at night? I feel like I can be quite an independent person. I definitely enjoy my own company sometimes. I do enjoy going on little walks walks whenever I feel like it, getting some fresh air and everything. I know for a fact that my mum and my dad do worry about me going out alone. Quite recently, actually, I've kind of had some bad experiences when I've been out, like not just alone with friends too. I remember the other day, me and a few friends, we're just on our way back from the park. We had a day out. We were walking along this bridge. I'm 17 and there were a few guys, they looked about like 
35, I'd say. I was walking past them, and personally, I think I look younger than 17. I think I look younger than my age, like quite a lot younger. They started saying like weird stuff, like, oh, look at her, pointing at me and stuff. Literally staring at me, kind of making me feel uncomfortable, but the way I deal with that is like, I don't get scared or worried or anything. I'm just confident about it so that they know I'm not intimidated. When I was out of social distancing, by the way, don't worry, it's all good. Let me use some Mario Balescu spray now. Spray it all over my face. Drown myself in that. Oh, my camera battery's flashing. Have you ever cheated? I've been cheated on and I know for a fact it's just not a nice thing to go through. It's not nice to think that somebody could do that to you. I would not put someone in the situation that I was in. I'm gonna put some highlighter on now. I'm gonna use the Benefit What's Up highlighter. Put it on my nose and my cheeks. I also use this little Burberry eyeshadow. I take this like tiny brush. I just put that in my inner corner because it's so brightening. Do love a nice glow. Some of your videos are completely non-profit and it hurts your motivation to keep posting. A lot of my videos are definitely non-profit. I guess in some ways it is kind of demotivating, but because this isn't my job and I'm not doing it to get paid, I genuinely just love making videos, editing videos and stuff. I'm not going to allow it to just make me stop. If someone went up to you to get a picture, would you be embarrassed? Definitely not. YouTube events are literally my favorite places. I love meeting you guys and afterwards, like when the events finish and stuff, when you're all posting the super cute pics we got together, tagging me in them, I love like just sitting there looking through them. Honestly, it just brings this whole thing to a reality. It's literally crazy being able to meet you guys. And I'm so, so grateful that I can. Does boys height really matter? For some reason, it sounds like I said does boys hide, but I meant height. I'm five foot, so for me, not really. I know a lot of people love like a really, really tall guy, but I'm five foot, so what am I needing like a seven foot guy for? I feel like it can be kind of attractive when a guy's like really tall, but I don't really think it does matter that much. Personally, for me, I would prefer a guy to be tall taller than me. It's not really hard to be taller than me to be honest. How to deal with bullying and fake people. Cut them off toxicity. We do not need it. Why do girls pull each other's hair during a fight? It freaking hurts. If you're yanking my hair, oh my god. I've never actually had a fight. Never had to go through that pain of hair pulling. I'm gonna quickly curl my lashes, put on my mascara. I don't understand people who don't curl their lashes first. Obviously, you guys already know how it is. I'm gonna be using my favorite mascara. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. It just changes me so much. I look like an alien without mascara. I never use natural lighting and the one day I do, it just keeps freaking changing. Does body count matter? If I met a guy and I was sort of interested in him and he had a really high body count but seemed to be like willing to be good to me and treat me well and had good intentions, I guess it wouldn't matter too much because you've fallen in love with them, not their body count, you know what I mean? If the person that has a high body count was kind of arrogant about it and sort of bragged about it, then I'd kind of be like, uh, I don't like you. Do you know what? I'm gonna add some white eyeliner. This definitely has been a part of like my everyday makeup routine recently. I've seen a few other people do it and I kind of love it. I can definitely see a difference. It definitely brightens up my eyes a bit. That is my everyday makeup done. This is what I do most days if I'm wearing makeup. I feel like it just makes me look a bit more put together and ready for the day. This makeup look usually takes me about 15 minutes. Obviously, it took a lot longer today because I was filming. I was talking to you guys, answering questions and stuff. Low key, I am a bit of a catfish. I don't think I've ever really deeped it that much. I look so much better with makeup on, let's be real here. Anyways, I'm still in my pajamas, so I'm gonna get dressed now and I'll get back to you. So now I've got my outfit on. This is the finished look. Don't know how I feel about the outfit, to be honest. Both my top and jeans are from Topshop. This is like a satin corset top. These are some petite flared jeans. This is the first time I'm wearing them both, which is kind of crazy and wild. I got them the other day because I had like a Topshop voucher from Christmas. Thought I'd treat myself and try something new. I really like the top, but I don't really know how I feel about the jeans. I'm not used to wearing like flared or like baggy jeans. They are very, very in style right now though, so I'm kind of vibing with them. They are very comfy and they were only like £30 as well. They weren't even on sale. If you like them, go get yourself a pair. For Topshop, I think that's a pretty good price. I've also got my high top Air Force on with these. I'll probably wear my little shoulder bag with this. Shoulder bags are literally my freaking favorite accessory at the moment. It just goes so nicely with everything. I might throw on this hoodie with this as well. It just says 2000s baby. This is from Beyond the Style underscore UK on Instagram. My friend Summer in LA started up this brand and it's freaking sick. Definitely go check them out. Flared jeans, 2000s baby hoodie, little shoulder bag. I am ready to freaking go. Nowhere because we're still in lockdown. That was my everyday makeup routine. I actually added a lip liner and some gloss. Make sure you check out all my socials linked in the description below. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already because we're so close to 100k. Give this video a big thumbs up. I will see you guys very, very soon with a brand new video. Peace.